Philo AI just dropped a major update, and it might have just changed the entire AI video space. Even after testing it for a couple of days, I found out that this new model doesn't just match industry giants like Google VO and Kling. In some areas, it's flat out better. And unlike the other models that never seem to be released, you can actually use it right now. It's faster, nails complex prompts, delivers cinematic quality video with character consistency, and most importantly, it's free and does not have any free trials where you can't actually do anything until you pay. In this video, I will show you how Hilo compares to VO3 and Kling using the exact same prompts, so you can see which one actually delivers. You'll also see some of the best features most users completely miss, and why this might be the first pro-level model built for solo creators. Let's get into it. All right, so for this challenge, we will have three models. First, we have VO3. This is Google's flagship AI video model. It's built for high-end cinematic generation and focuses heavily on realism camera logic, and scene cohesion. It's currently not widely available and only select creators have access. Next is Kling. It's fast, relatively easy to use, and often gets compared to VO for its ability to generate smooth camera movements and dynamic subjects. It's publicly available and gaining popularity quickly. And of course, we have Hilo 2, the model we're focusing on today. For the first part of the comparison, we're going to focus on text to video. Text to video means generating a full animated clip just from a written description. All three models support this, so it's the perfect place to start. Here's the prompt we're going to use, a cinematic short of a female astronaut jogging on the surface of Mars during sunset. She runs past tall red rock formations as a dust storm begins in the distance. The camera follows her in smooth motion as she jumps over a rock her suit reacting naturally to gravity and wind. The lighting reflects a golden orange glow across the landscape and shadows stretch long behind her. Add subtle particle effects for dust in the air, realistic physics and consistent character detail throughout. So let's begin with Hilo. Once you're logged into the tool, you'll see the main menu and a large prompt box in the center of the screen. But instead of staying there, look to the left side and you'll see a video button and right next to it, a small new model tag. Click that and it should bring you to the video generation page. In the top left corner, make sure text to video is selected. That's the mode we want. Then in the bottom left, check that the model selected is Hilo 02. This is the newest model and the one we'll be using for all the comparisons. Below that, you'll see a few optional settings. If you're using a premium account, you can increase the resolution to 1080p and extend the duration to 10 seconds. But for this video, I'm using the default settings. There's also a feature called prompt enhancing. If you turn this on, it helps the model better understand your prompt, basically improving the results without you needing to tweak your wording. I'll turn it on. Now I'll paste in the prompt. Once everything is ready, I click generate. It costs just 25 credits and that's it. Hilo starts working. Now, before we check out how Hilo did, let's take a look at how this same prompt turned out in the other two models. Let's start with Kling. Kling actually did a decent job here. The colors are really saturated, maybe a bit too much, but the overall look is solid. It captures most of the details from the prompt and nothing feels completely off. That said, the movement does feel slightly robotic. It's smooth, but not quite natural. Still, overall, it's a pretty good result and definitely usable. Now let's move on to VO. You'd expect VO to really shine here, but it actually came off a bit underwhelming. It does handle the gravity part nicely. You can tell the character is moving differently, and it gives you that lighter, Mars-like feel. But the rest doesn't quite hold up. The movements don't feel as refined or believable as you'd expect. So overall, VO underdelivered a bit on this one. Now let's take a look at Hilo's video. The colors aren't overdone, they're subtle and cinematic. The movement is smooth and there's even a slight feminine quality to how the astronaut runs, which is impressive coming from AI. And the environment itself feels the most like Mars. Kling looks more like a desert scene on Earth, but Hilo captures that otherworldly tone really well from the lighting to the depth of the background. And just to be clear, this was generated using Hilo's free model. No paid credits, no pro settings, and no advanced editing. With most other tools, you'd either have to upgrade to a paid plan or keep adjusting your prompt to get something like this. But with Hilo, I just pasted it in and got this result immediately. 
Now we're going to try the same thing, but this time starting from an image. So from the same page where we just did the text to video generation, right here, I selected image to video. After that, we see two fields. One lets you drag and drop the image you want to animate. The other is a text box where you can type in your prompt. I uploaded a simple side profile photo of someone riding a bicycle, just a clear action shot on a city street. Below the prompt box, I turned on prompt enhancing again to help the model better understand what I'm describing and paste it in this prompt. Animate the person pedaling the bicycle smoothly forward for a few seconds. Keep the background moving to match the motion, simulating forward travel down the street. Maintain consistent lighting, character appearance, and proportions. Add slight motion to clothing and shadows for realism. Then, in the bottom left corner, I made sure Hilo02 was selected as the model. After that, I just clicked Generate. Now that that's done, I went and made the videos with the same image and prompt in the other two tools to see how they'd handle it. Let's start with the Kling version. It hits most of the prompt. The character animation looks good, the motion works, and it does technically follow everything described. But visually, it leans very saturated to the point where it almost looks stylized or slightly cartoonish. And when you compare it side by side with the other videos, it starts to feel less like a real world scene and more like a filtered render. Now here's what VO generated. This one is impressive. The motion is fluid and you can see his clothes react to wind. The shadows stretch and move as the bike rolls forward. That said, the facial details aren't perfect. There's a bit of instability and something feels a little off in how the face holds together across the frames. But overall, this is a strong result, but it is to be expected, especially considering VO's price and capabilities. Now back to Hilo. This one actually took a different approach. The camera turns around mid-scene, but what's interesting is how well the model holds up despite the unexpected movement. The body positioning stays consistent, the cycling motion is clean, and the leg movement, which is usually where these models glitch, looks completely natural. The facial detail holds, and even with the extra movement, nothing feels broken. And remember, this was all generated on Hilo's free tier, a free public model, delivering a full animated scene from a single image and prompt. Compared to Kling and VO, where you either get limited quality or need a premium subscription, Hilo continues to stand out as a tool that delivers serious results without the paywall. Now, before we move on to some of the more advanced features inside Hilo, let's just wrap this up. No, Hilo isn't positioning itself as the next cinematic mega model that's gonna take over the industry like VO is aiming to. But in real world use, it holds its own. And in a lot of areas like prompt accuracy, facial consistency, character movement, it's just as good, if not better, than both VO and Kling. What makes that even more surprising is the fact that it's completely free to try. You don't need to pay up front. You don't need to wait for access. You just go in and start creating. And even if you do want longer videos, faster renders, or higher resolution, the entry-level paid option is still way cheaper than anything else out there. Each generation costs only 25 credits. That means you can make a bunch of solid outputs, even on the free tier, which gives you 500 credits to start with, and even more if you go with the lowest paid plan. So all things considered, Hilo is delivering a lot, especially for creators who just want something that works right now without a bunch of extra hoops. Now let's take a look at some of the other features inside Hilo. We'll start with subject to reference. This works inside the same menu we've been using for text to video and image to video. But this time, in the top left corner, you'll select subject to reference. Here, instead of just typing a prompt or uploading one photo, you upload images of the same person. This gives the model a clear understanding of the person's identity so it can keep that character consistent across the video. Once your reference images are uploaded, they'll appear in a list. From there, you write your prompt as usual, then you hit generate and you will get a video with the exact person you just uploaded. This gives you the ability to create consistent close-ups, multi-shot edits, or story-driven clips where the character doesn't shift mid-scene. There's also a preset library with ready-made looks and scene setups you can use straight away. For example, choosing something like Golden Magic Hour gives you a fully pre-styled scene, complete with matching lighting and tones. You can use these as is or build your own if you tend to work in a consistent style. Then there's camera motion. You can add specific camera behaviors to your prompt, things like left to right walking shots, slow zooms, or circular tracking. The selection isn't huge, 
but the few that are available help create more dynamic and directional scenes without extra effort. And for the final feature we will cover today, we have subject to reference for image creation. You can upload just one image of your character and the model will use those references to generate new still images in different styles, poses and settings while keeping the character's identity intact. You can also choose your aspect ratio, whether you want something cinematic, standard 16 by nine or vertical nine by 16 for social media, you just select the format before generating. Each batch of four images costs four credits, so that's one credit per image. If you're using the free tier, that gives you up to 500 images to experiment with right out of the gate. So now you actually know how to create professional looking videos from scratch with characters, movement, lighting, and emotion, all at a fraction of what it would normally cost. And with Hilo, it's fast, consistent, and built for creators that are not looking to break the bank on another super AI model. Also, Hilo just released their new Max plan, which allows unlimited use of Hilo 2.0, and is the only one among the world's best models that offers a genuinely unlimited plan. If you've been waiting for a tool that actually lets you bring your ideas to life without a subscription wall or technical headaches, this is it. You can go ahead and start creating your own scenes, characters, or short stories with Hilo by just clicking the link in the description and trying it for yourself. 